hope you can hear me because there's a lot of turbulence coming off this uh, little window here. You duck behind it, it's not so bad, but you know, it's on a bike like this. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. And you are absolutely right, this is not, I repeat, not a Honda VF750F or as you may know it, a V45 Interceptor. This, my friends, is a Honda Pan-European ST1100. And boy, do I like it. I'm not really a dad because I don't have any children of my own. But I guess my dad bike age has come. I turned 51 not so long ago, so... This is it. Keep in mind that uh, old VF was from 1983, so next year it'll be 40 years old. And this is one of the last uh, Pan-Europeans, is from 2000. Blue and gold, the way I like it. And uh, so there's like, uh, what, 17 year age difference between the two bikes? But it might have just as well have been a century. Of course this is still a carbureted bike. But as you probably know, These bikes handle exceptionally well, which is probably why a lot of police forces have used them. So it's a really very heavy bike, I think dry weight's around 300 kilograms. And you know, if you're pushing it around trying to park it somewhere, you, know, you better not have to push it uphill. But when you ride it, it's light as a feather. The uh, engine at uh, 1100 cc's, well actually I think it's 1050 cc's, something like that. It doesn't have a whole lot more power than the VF somewhere around a hundred horsepower but it got it's got a lot of torque and I find myself exceeding maximum speed limits uh, on a regular basis now for some reason we're not doing that here because we have, seem to have a certain captain slow in front of us and this road is not the best for overtaking because there's a car coming around the blind corner right there. Oh, quite a sturdy car, I think. And of course one of Honda's main problems is that they made these bikes too good, so not a lot of ST1100 owners uh, wanted to switch over to the ST1300 when that came out, I believe somewhere around 2003. And yes, this one has the full alphabet, you know, ABS, TCS and CBS. 
and all the lights go out. So I'm assuming it all works. I thought if I'm going to have a newer bike it should at least have ABS on it. ABS isn't going to save your life if you're an idiot. But it helps. And yes, we're going to do the same route in reverse and it's going to look completely different even though we've been here before. Now uh, this was not the cheapest pan-European out there. And also it's probably not the prettiest. But I've got to say, in the time that I've been chasing this bike, I've seen a lot of shitty ones. And explained noises and strange behavior. And this one I got on and it was just perfect. And it had a full tank of gas and new tires, so... Ready to roll. Yeah, the turbulence is pretty annoying. Um, so... I know a lot of people get uh, like uh, an extra windscreen on top or just a taller windscreen or... Something like that, but I actually uh, found someone who makes shorter windscreens. So that's going to be like here somewhere. So I'm very curious to see what that is going to do.
Yeah, uh, riding instructors also ride pan-Europeans. Yeah. 